Hi everybody, welcome to Art Day. My name is Sarah, I'm the artist behind Pinsel Geschichten and today I'm going to play with the supplies that I got delivered last week uh, for the new art box. And they are a cotton bag that you can, well, carry things home in, a brush, um, this black text, textile fabric, Fabric, that's the word. The black uh, fabric, that's kind of like an outline gel. And uh, silver fashion fabric thing, so that's glitter inside, which <clears throat> I spilled all over my pants last week. Um, only partially pretty. <laughs> Either cover everything or nothing at all when you're, well, Spilling glitter onto your clothes. And uh, I'm having also these uh, two design sprays, sun, yellow, and violet, and they're also for fabric. And I want to play and um, take uh, one of the designs that I did. So I last week I played for a few sketches. Uh, if you're on Instagram, you have seen those maybe, if you follow me there. Uh, but I've done some... Just playing on the balcony. Oh, I should have it in frame, you said. Hold it. This is my sketchbook. There, you can see. So uh, I've been playing with different kinds of designs and just, you know, just purple and yellow and a bit of brown because I can mix the two to make brown. So I just, I just played with, oh, what do I want to maybe have on this bag and just sketch things out. Of course, I have to be goofy, so Psyduck has to be in there somewhere. Oh, he's getting a lollipop. That would be one for the glitter. Uh, flower pot, nature. That would be a stencil that I also have. Same goes for the yellow here. So yeah, uh, but I decided to take the carrot. Because it's probably going to be a shopping bag for when we go food shopping. So it's going to be the carrot. And uh, I'm going to start with a bit of cardboard in the bag. Just to not have everything go through. Because I want to have um, the pattern, the purple pattern, I want to have that on both sides and the carrot just on one side. And I have to film this in snippets. This is going to be edited together. It's still going to be real time, but I have to let things dry for a couple of hours between every step. So it's actually Friday that I'm starting filming this. Um, but I hope it's still going to work. So I did test the supplies on another fabric and um it, when when just spraying these they were kind of splotchy so i had dark and uh, light and dark and light and i'm not very fond of that so what i thought i'd do is spray the paint in this palette and then take uh this sponge or a part of it and just dab the parts of the stencil here that I want to make this and this pattern on the front side. Then I'm gonna let it dry and tonight I'm gonna come back and flip it and uh, do the same on the back side because it says it has to dry for two hours and to fix fixate it I have to uh, iron it. But um, I want to have the whole bag uh, completed before I go there with an iron. But I'm going to sit down now. And I'm going to get the careful paper towel. And then I'm going to start spraying things into this palette. Quite a bit of it. Okay, that looks good. It's a good thing that I have paper towel underneath. See, it's go. It goes everywhere. 
Be aware when you work with things like that, they do tend to go everywhere. So I'm going to work with my stencil. I'm going to start here, the upper part. Do, 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 do. Uh, and I'm going to dab my sponge. Really soaks up a lot already. And I'm gonna get dab in here. I can also control a bit better this way where I want the spray to go. Otherwise, I had to t would have to tape everything, which um, I'm just maybe a bit too lazy to do. But I can dab rather well controlled in a controlled way where I want things to go. I want things to go up here. Boop, 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 boop. I really like this project. Um, they came up with a nice idea. I, I said it in the last vlog that I had published um, before record uh, when recording this. So vlog 194 that um, I had skipped the whole uh, 90s Baltic phenomenon. I was not into it back then. So I never played with uh, making art on fabric. But I can see the appeal. For people, all right. So now I'm going to put this to the side. I'm gonna get my. Okay, it wants to smudge. Mm. Not great, but well. It's fine, I guess. So I'm going to. Clean off the backhand side. Okay. And off camera, also the front. Because I don't want to put the stencil onto my bag yet. Is it clean? Yes, it is. So, can. Actually, mimic the pattern here like this. I have to squirt some more purple into my palette. on my hands. Oops. Uh, where's my brush? There it is. And I'm gonna f hold it where I'm not going to dab. And I'll go at it again. I'm going right to left because I am left-handed and it just makes it easier for me to not smudge anything and control the stencil as much as I can. Though it's kind of awkward here because I... Ah, hold on, there's also some more stencil. So I'm going to hold it here. Okay, now carefully moving it to the side. 
And I have to move up my back too. And now I just want to. I want to have like a like a, um, a curve going on. So. Boop, boop, boop. They don't all have to be perfect, but I want to make sure that I have a nice saturation of um, ink. I think it's ink on this bag. no more so squirt some more oh, great this pretty thing is not working to clog or what? Well. So I'm just going to pour the ink. Because I cannot be bothered to clean this now. <laughs> gonna clean this uh, spray bottle thing later you should always um, clean it after you used it it says so I'm going to do that but only once I'm done with this layer Some of them really smudge a lot. I do not like that. to find the pattern again where there that's the one ah don't there and I can dab some more And remove. It's funny, sometimes it's really not as splotchy, and sometimes it is. Finding the pattern that I had here, and some more. Uh, 
and also on this side that will be here okay. and I get splotches everywhere where I don't want them not great I'm going to This is quite a messy supply. But you know, I'm gonna make it work because I'm having splotches here. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my scissors and my brush. I'm gonna soak it with the ink and I'm gonna make some deliberate splatters on the other side which will cover things up a bit. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry for at least two hours and then I'm gonna see you back on this video. Okay, so it is about two and a half hours later and to the touch this is definitely dry. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip this. What are you? There oh, did ink go through. Okay, so I have to cover that up with some stenciling. So, all right. I think I know why it did uh, splotch so much. I think it was because the sponge did soak up that much ink all in one go. So what I'm gonna do is uh, add ink maybe a bit more slowly. Hmm. 
lining up my stencil and then again boop, 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 boop. at this point I don't care about my fingers anymore they're gonna be purple today I just reckon that and now to the top stencil once more and I'm gonna have a bit of the pattern here and I'm gonna do the same on the other side here lining up my stencil and the same a bit more. All right, I'm going to let this dry again. I'm not gonna splotch the edges here or the splatter thing that I did before. I'm not gonna do that because I want the carrot to be painted on this particular side. So I'm going to let this dry uh, for at least two hours, probably more, and then I'm gonna be back. So I'm back. This is uh, Sunday. Uh, no, Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday. So I have let both of the sides of the bag uh, dry it. Um, I didn't uh, only have this dried for two hours, but more like 24 hours. And uh, now I'm going for the carrot that I want to have in the middle. Uh, I have to apologize if I uh, seem distracted once in a while. I have to watch my Twitter feed while I'm recording this because I'm waiting for an answer from YouTube as uh, I have trouble uploading a video today that has to be uh, published tomorrow. So it's kind of time critical and I have mailed them uh, or tweeted them tweeted them i have tweeted them and asked them if any of their servers are down because my troubleshooting here i cannot go any further um it's all i can do i have no connection problems nothing here so they have to help me out and i have to have an eye on twitter now while I was telling you that I uh, actually chose a bit of yellow to uh, paint my uh, carrots and I hope I can sketch it out a bit with my um, uh, pencil here. First have to take 
instead of forced to get the bag away from the cardstock. So I want a carrot and uh, oh yeah, that works nicely. I'm just quickly gonna outline it, sketch it, something like this. Actually thinking of having three carrots. Then one here. And another one. Here. There's going to be green parts coming out, but I'm going to take care of them later. Let's just start with this part here. And I want to take a bigger brush, maybe this one. Uh, this one maybe? Yeah, that's a bit softer. And I'm just going to dip my brush into the yellow liquid and I'm just going to paint very solidly going to paint the carrots um, I could have sprayed those but then I would probably have used some tape to uh, mask them off but I think this is fine too, just painting the carrots instead of spraying them. And this way the color is very, very controllable for me. So that is totally fine. I'm going to mix the purple and the yellow later to shade things and um, then I will use the black outline pen here probably to um, outline stuff later on but I want to see if I maybe like the end result with just the yellow and the purple color enough to not have to edit, uh, not edit, haha, <laughs> see, I'm in YouTube editing mode, <laughs> to add anything to it. We'll see what I do prefer in the end. Now you could say that carrots are actually orange and not yellow, but you know, we do actually have yellow um, carrots here. We also have purple ones. So I think choosing these colors is uh, not too pop artsy. It's actually kind of realistic. Now I don't mind if you can see the um, pencil lines later on um, that would actually add to the character of this piece let me refresh Twitter please YouTube no not yet okay so let's keep um, painting I'm going to add more yellow I'm going to also add a bit of the purple, but in a separate part of the pot. And in the middle I can mix, so I'm taking a bit of the yellow. 
and a bit of the purple and I have like a chocolatey brown here going in uh, well maybe I should take the smaller brush now hold on gonna use smaller brush and uh, going for the carrot in the back first And then this part here. Now I'm just pretty much shading this carrot and also I'm going to put in some of these. Um, they almost look like growing lines. No? The carrots. few more of those lines. Some are longer, some are shorter, some are darker and some are lighter. I'm going to shade the carrot in a minute. Just want to have the lines in there first. Okay, and now for shading, again going on this side here and then scrubbing it out just like dry rubbing the brown over the yellow. Now I need a bit more yellow to have a bit of a lighter brown. I'm going to the top section here. And I can always put pure yellow on top if I think that I may have gotten a bit too dark.
And then I'm going back to the super dark. I'm going for this carrot now. Going to feather them out or scrubbing them. Okay. And then I'm going to the lighter browns. For the outline here, mixing in quite a bit of yellow. Some of the dark brown also for a couple of lines. And back to the yellow. Okay. I want a bit of a darker color here. And now I'm going in for the final carrot. Mix a bit more of the brown. Adding a bit more purple to the brown just to make it even darker. Going back to the yellow, I have enough brown still in my brush, so I can mix a very light brown right on that cotton here, in that bag. Going back to the super dark brown for this side of the carrot. And back to the yellow for the upper line. And I need a bit of a lighter brown, with like a medium brown for some lines. stand up and look from afar. That doesn't look too shitty. 
All right. Now maybe a bit darker here. So I'm taking the dark brown that I just mixed and just a very soft little line. Okay. And now I have to think about the greens. So... Just drawing in the stems, not the leaves. I'm just gonna pop, 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 dab um, the other uh, the leaves on top. So here, this goes something like this, and they. Hmm, They go something like this. So now <laughs> I'm going to spray a bit more yellow into my palette, and I'm going to add a little bit more violet or purple to the brown that I already mixed even more okay and now I'm going to paint in the stems see this is a very dark brown almost a purple but still a brown and I'm just gonna go over the lines that I penciled in Might have to add a bit more. And I'm really just being very soft with the way I apply that ink and uh, that means that I sometimes or most of the times I have to go over a line once or twice if I really want it dark but that's fine I think Okay, now I'm going to mix one more batch of yellow and purple, well maybe a bit more purple even. I'm 
I'm going to add the greens to this carrot. I'm going to pull it into the pattern that I uh, have put underneath here. And uh, now I'm going to add lines up there. The order I paint these carrots in is only distinguished, or I, I just, did, no, not distinguished, determined. I determine where which uh, part of this um, painting here I will make first by the probability of me smudging it later on. So I'm trying to go from the right to the left just to not smudge too much. Well, something notification. Have to right back Google because they just replied all right let's see what they can do now try to tell me the standard suggestions which I get they have to but it's bullshit in my case so get your supporters YouTube or tell me if servers are down actually answer my question that would be actually super helpful anyway back to the carrots so i'm just gonna dab some leaves now with the rest of the brown that i do have in my um brush Dabbing some yellow here to suggest that there is more greenery. And on to the next carrot. Up here. That um, did uh, put my brush into the purple a bit to get a bit of a brown not a pure yellow but I'm dabbing it off at my paper towel not to uh, have a dark brown going on I want a very light brown almost like um, a yellow ochre or something
Need to spray a bit more of the yellow. Ooh. And I spray it on me because I can, I guess. <laughs> Shoot. Oh well. What to do? Need a few highlights, so I'm just taking yellow. Now I'm taking a little bit of the pure purple. Um, Adding them around the leaves where um, they overlap with the one on the next part here. Same on this branch here, so I have a bit less of an overlap. Just as much of the pure purple. Going over some of the pencil lines. Now I have to stand back and watch and see if I want to actually add the black or if I don't. Let's see. I think I don't think I'm gonna I was just for a split second thinking if I should have the stencil also here um, but I think I won't have it here um, I want to leave that space for now it might be that I'm writing something down here like uh, foodie or food bag or something. Oh, is that Twitter again? No, it's not. Uh, well, it is Twitter, but not for me. So, um, I actually 
will um, leave it for now to dry. But what I'm going to do is coloring the handles. And for that, I will shorten this cardstock. So I'm going to cut it right here. And I will spray these two handles and then we'll leave everything to dry. So I want the purple here and then have it move to the yellow. So uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to use this to. Uh, not smudge anything onto my bag here. Sometimes they kind of clog. Not helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this one open again and use a big brush because I'm not in the mood of letting this spray bottle bother me. So, Just gonna lay the other handle right on top. I'm gonna have quite a bit of pigment here to use, and that will hopefully also smudge on the other side or bleed through or something. Almost. Okay, now the other side.
candle number one. Candle number two. Now, I hope that I can manage with the yellow paint. Open you up, and I'm gonna pour some yellow. I'm gonna take a fresh brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the purple. And like a good artist, I'm of course also gonna paint my fingers here. Um, the paint is um, not waterproof, so will it will um, it will uh, stain your skin quite a bit, though. Uh, also, the nails probably, at least they do with me. But uh, I guess that's fine. I mean, other paints do stain my my skin and my nails too, so I don't mind. Just be aware. Maybe don't do this project when you're at a wedding in the evening. <laughs> Probably your own, maybe. I don't know. Um, or if you have to look super decent for the next day for... Um, a, uh, a presentation on work, uh, at work or something and you don't want to explain to anybody while you maybe have colorful but not nail polished fingers and uh, skin uh, you might want to not do this project on a day like that but well, I don't mind, I don't care. I'm gonna have this be removed from my fingers 
uh, in like a day or two. So that's totally fine for me. Got to paint this purple. Yes, I did. So, gonna change to the purple brush and finish this. Now, I'm going to put this away to not smudge anything and I'm going to let this dry um, at least uh, 24 hours, I'd say. And uh, then I will decide if I want to have a black, um, some black lettering or something going on or if I leave it at that. But I will tell you and show you and everything later. For now, I'm gonna leave off and um, yeah, I will talk to you later on. Okay, so this is all dry and uh, I've been looking at this um, bag for a while and I decided I don't want to change anything on the front. But I do want to have a text and rather than having it here like I first thought, I decided to have it on the back. Uh, on the back of the bag. Because there is a lot of um, white space. So what I want to do is uh, have the word health pack put on here. So the the reason that I want this word is it's actually a gimmick. You hear I'm already giggling kind of. Um, I'm very much into uh, good food, good drink, good nutrition, stuff like that. So I shop very healthy. Uh, the The most like... Okay, let, let me give you some background. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I have three big um, baskets that I uh, take to the supermarket um, when we go shopping. So um, we go food shopping twice a week. And two of those big baskets are full with veggies and uh, fruits only. So I need two big baskets just for the fruit and vegetable section and then one basket for all the rest so uh yeah i'm <laughs> shopping uh really no produ uh, processed foods i'm just shopping fresh foods and um yeah i'm very particular about that but um I also am, um, as you maybe know, because you've been subscribed to this channel for a while and have looked into the other shows, I'm a board game nerd. So there is uh, games, particularly um, cooperative games, that do 
send you on a quest on the board. Then you have spots where you can heal yourself or your hero. You can heal your hero. And these are either medi packs or health packs. So I thought um, health pack would really fit <laughs> for this particular bag here. So I thought uh, something down here like this, like two rows or something, depending on how much space I need. Um, actually, maybe I just need one row. We'll see. Uh, I'm better with outlining things when I start at the back of the words. So I'm going to... So like spacing out things I'm better that way when I do it the uh, reverse way so that would be the K and there is the C and I'm going to use the black liner to um, fill this in I really like the how the bag turned out so far I like the colors and I like uh, how the materials behaved and stuff so that's nice also since I recorded a part for this video last I have to say a big Thank you to YouTube support. They have very nice and very capable tech support people. So yay, got my problem solved. So the P. Uh, what I will do once this is uh, once I have used the black and filling in the um the word here i will let this dry and then i'm going to iron the whole thing on a uh uh, on a with a, blah, 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 talking but i'm gonna put a sheet of baking paper there on top and then i'm gonna iron on top of the ba baking paper uh, just to fix all of the products that I used here. Uh, but I'm not going to show that on camera. It's kind of boring. Um, but yeah, you will see the finished products on the blog. And actually, it shouldn't change anything from what you see now. So that's the pack. Now I have H-E-L-A-L-T-H. So six letters. Could actually, there's space for another four here, so the six would be like here. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna need my ruler now just to not uh, tilt anything too much. So there's an H here. But I want to maybe have a bit of space, so let's do it like this. Hi, and then there's the H. If you're not really good at uh, having straight lines drawn or cut like I am, I'm a really not capable person to do so. Free handing is not my forte when it comes to straight lines. Uh, you can always use a ruler to help you out. So there's the T. Now I need an L. A E 
E... And another H. All right, so now I'm going to outline them. And I have my brush here, so I don't want the raised lines, but I want to have those letters filled in those characters. But first, I'm going to outline. And then I'm going to take the brush and fill in the letter. If I need a smaller brush, I have thinner brushes or smaller brushes next to me, so I could easily reach for the letters where I think I need a smaller brush, but I could actually fill more than one letter with the amount of paint that I just have put down. And in my mind, I'm already playing with the idea of making uh, maybe the August random act of kindness with um, these supplies. So I really like how they turn out so far. Maybe I come up with something that I could use the supplies on. We'll see. I do have an idea for June and um, July already, so the next idea <laughs> would be used in, in August then. So I'm just working slowly here to make sure that I uh, stay as closely as I can in the lines that I sketched. just outline parts of the letter here. The one thing that is um, kind of tricky for me with these supplies with this kind of work is um, I, I'm actually one of those people that really likes to finish something in one sitting. So I'm not a person who has a lot of unfinished projects that um, I have to wait for something to dry for a couple of hours and then go back to, for the next layer. So I'm not an oil painter because of that, because I'm not really uh, a person who's who works on something in multiple sittings, like I said. 
Um, I sit down, I can sit down for about, I don't know, 15 hours, no problem. But I'm going to work at it all in one go. And <laughs> with this one here, having to really let this dry and not being able to quote unquote cheat like with a blow dryer or a heat gun or something. Um, yeah, that's that's the tricky part for me. So I have to come back to a project. Well, that's just that's just me being weird and that's totally fine. Um with on the on the other hand um this plays quite into what i like meaning when i design something you saw on the sketches in the beginning i really think about a project and i'm quite planny <laughs> so to say so i'm planning ahead where i uh, or where i want to go what do i want to do um Yes, I can adjust things if they're not working like I did with uh, this bag here, making the supposed front side the back side because, well, I didn't like how the stencil turned out in the back. But that's fine. I mean, um, I can adjust, <laughs> but I like to plan out what I do with... Um, anything that is not uh, mixed media collage where I'm just playing like in some of my journals but uh, most of the paintings uh, at least I have the scenery planned I might not have um, every little detail planned but I know where I want to go so I never just start, say, with a background and then come back to something weeks later and decide, okay, this is what I want to do on top. If I have a pause between the background and the foreground, I already know where I want to head when I make the background. So um, I'm, that's, but that's not because I'm, you know, knowing everything like right away and having everything figured out but once I use a supply or once I put down some color somewhere uh, I have a very vivid imagination so pictures pop into my head like right away and I just choose the one that I want to go for and that I want to um, that I want to paint you know or draw it's uh it's very funny how my brain actually helps me out not having um, well a, a block for imagination I always have ideas uh, the problem is that I usually uh, can't approach all of my ideas or put them uh, into an existing painting make all of the things that I have ideas for because well I don't have enough time but uh, I can always pull ideas from my list of ideas that I had many many weeks months years before so I can I'm never at this point where I say, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. It's more like that I say, oh, I don't feel like this supply right now, or I don't feel like doing a landscape. I have a great landscape idea, but I feel like something goofy, so I don't approach a certain idea. I'm put, putting it away for later. But um, I always have some idea that I like to work with or work at because yeah this is how my brain works it's constant constantly thinking about uh it's the it's the actually it's just a heightened way of association that i do with my brain it's like constantly asking myself oh what do i see here or what what could this be? What does this remind me of? 
and um, I'm not just seeing snippets, but I see like a whole scenery, a whole thing, a whole painting. So, yeah, that's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Almost done. And uh, then, like I said, I'm going to dry this and then later give it the treatment of my iron. I really liked this art box. I, I never played with uh, any of the fabric coloring painting in the 90s, like I said earlier. So this was something totally new for me. And I like the outcome. I like the color combination that I got delivered. I like that there. Uh, colors that sit opposite each other on the color wheel. So they make each other pop and they make for a brown or a gray when you mix them. There we go. And the last letter. Woo! So I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you live in Germany, Austria or Switzerland and you are curious about this box, you can hop over to um, theartboxes.com. They're also on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and everywhere. And you can check this out. It's a monthly subscription for 25 euros and you get a package of something every month. So. There we go. I'm not gonna use the glitter that uh, was delivered with this uh, with this package so that's the only product I'm not going to use now but um, I will well I, for one I don't think it will fit with the design that I made because I'm going all nat natural here with uh, the carrots and everything but uh, I think I'm going to use those products on a random act of kindness project, project, like I said, and then I will definitely have the glitter there. I will come up with something maybe a bit more pop culture-y or a bit more um, fashion or style thing. I don't know. I will come up with something where I can also use the glitter. And um, yeah, I'm just not feeling that it would fit here. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And uh, I'm going to let this dry and then it's time to iron this. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, as per usual, please leave them in the comment section below. Fill my comment section with wonderful words. I would very much appreciate that. I will see you next Monday with a new project. And I can tell you already, it's gonna be... Uh, framed a little differently so <laughs> there's a there's a pun for me and there's maybe a mystery for you uh, just come back next Monday and find out what I'm up to uh, if you feel you want to give this video a thumbs up because you really liked it well do so again I would very much appreciate that if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you're notified whenever 
I do release a new video. And uh, have a wonderful day. Do some wonderful art, something that you very much enjoy. And again, if you're curious and you want to check out the art boxes, you can uh, take a look. I will put the link to their webpage in the description box so that you can find it really quickly. Have fun, folks. Have a wonderful day. And I'm going to see you. Bye-bye.